Hi, hey, sexy J, quick and dirty time, continuing with the vocab and the trick questions, trap questions, whatever you want to really call it. Okay, so this is going to be um, hmm, misconception question. Okay, so there are certain words that a lot of people think are negative or are harmful or bad, bad connotations, but the words themselves are actually neutral. And SAT likes to really play around with those. For example, I'll give you guys an example. So it's, you guys know the word consequence, right? So this is something that has come up repeatedly on the paper SAT as well. The word consequence is not a negative. It's actually a neutral word. Now, 80% of the time you hear it, it's used in a negative fashion, so we might assume that, but consequence is just something that happens as a result of something else. For example, you could say, because of my hard work studying, my grades went up. Your grades going up is a consequence of your studying, okay? Of course, it could go in the negative direction as well. Because we didn't study at all, our grades dropped. That's another consequence. Okay, consequence is just a result or an effect, okay? So because of that, um, I have had students get things wrong because they assume that this is a negative, okay? So this is the same thing, okay? So when we have these words, we want to stick to the actual dictionary definitions rather than what we assume about the word. And going here as well, if you guys remember, again, earlier uh, vocab questions, we have spoken many times about when we talk about an artist, we say positive things, right? And also, this is something that you guys should know really well at this point. When I have uh, analysis or any word that means like a study or a research or investigation, I am talking about that because that has added to our knowledge. Right? It has discovered something new, unexpected. Right? We have learned something. So then we are going to be going for, oh, okay, this is what we used to think, but now we know more. Okay, so hold on to that pattern. So the close analysis has revealed, okay, we have learned something. Okay, and we have um, deviations. So these suggest that this work may be, so this part, so the analysis has revealed something, it has revealed that also there are deviations or going away from what is normal. So the typical answer, if this was not an advanced question, if this was a medium question, would be potentially changing, right? Or if I'm just gonna be outright more positive, enhancing, advancing. You guys get the point, right? Evolving some type of positive sounding word that means change is what they would normally give here. And which is why we have words like C, right? Substantiating, which is to support with evidence. That is the trap here, okay? That is the trap. Because the bigger picture idea here is that we have gotten a new understanding. So if we are substantiating our understanding, substantiate is to support or provide evidence for something. That means I'm supporting the old idea. But what happened here? We revealed it. That means the thing we didn't know before, right? A revelation has to be about something you didn't know, right? So I can't be guys, oh, guys, did you guys, I'm going to reveal today that I am Asian. You guys knew that, right? Probably, hopefully, right? Revelation would be like, oh, guys, I have decided that I'm going to run a marathon because you guys didn't know that. And also that was a lie. I'm never going to run a marathon. So substantiation cannot be for revealing. Substantiation is providing support for something you were already saying. So that is out. Entrenching, again, you do have to study the vocab on your own, guys. So you have to learn these words. I mean, I'll tell you this one right now. Entrenching literally is to dig deeper into where you are, okay? So entrenching is the same thing as I'm going in the same direction. I thought this was good. Now I believe even more strongly that this is really good, okay? So entrenching and substantiating are both going in the same direction as before. Again, since this is a research passage, even though it's a vocab question, really keep track of just the type of passage or the text, okay? The question types as divided by Khan Academy, ultimately, they don't really matter that much. So I have discovered something new. Therefore, the answer here is negating, A. And you're like, Doesn't, that sounds really negative, right? Negate, negative, right? They're related words. But negating as in it's going against our previous understanding. Is that a natural way to write? If I were your English teacher, would I say you should use the word negating here? Not really. If anything, you could like, use like challenging our understanding or something like that. Negating does sound pretty weird, but that doesn't matter. That's the other thing I want to talk about today. In the words and context of vocab questions, it's 
okay if the word doesn't sound quite, quite 100% right or natural. Because, like I said, the best word to put in here would be challenging our understanding, um, reconfiguring, reshaping, something like that. That's what most people will do. But do they give you the actual best answer for the vocab? Sometimes no, they give you something that's a little weird, unnatural, but like technically it kind of works. Therefore, that's our SAT answer. And this one is from Khan Academy. So yeah, this is SAT standard. Okay. So our answer here is um, negating. I'm not even sure what prefiguring would mean in this particular context, because prefigure is not really a commonly used verb at all, like as in like to figure out beforehand. Anyway, so let me erase the board here. It's not really a board, but still. It's a vocab question, right? But even if it's a vocab question, that doesn't mean you're just gonna like throw out all the things you learned before. Remember the fact that if it's a research passage, then I'm going to be changing the way I think I'm going to be getting new information, okay? So that's point one from today. And point two from today is don't get hung up on, I feel like this is a negative word, okay? Because college word might use a word that is typically used negatively, but in the dictionary is not necessarily so. To why? To trick you, because they don't love us, yeah. Okay, so that's another pretty advanced uh, vocab question in terms of the complexities they put in here. And we'll continue with the vocab series if you guys want. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more, or I might move on to different topics. I think I've heard transitions being something that's being asked for. So that's up to you guys, okay? So study every day with who? Sexy J, that's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye, thank you.